I'm an economist. I, that, that's my profession, of course. And uh, in economics, I think uh, you, you are not very creative. The economists have not discovered anything in the world, uh, nothing. They have not, not invented anything. The, the, a good economist is somebody that looks at reality, that understands what it is. A good economist should understand what reality is. If you move this variable, what will happen there? If you can see the connections in reality, you are a good economist. You can predict, uh, or you can design policies that are important. You can design, de describe the, the reality. But the, the idea is precisely not to be very creative, but to try to uh, express reality as the, it is. You can be creative. You can come up with ideas that are uh, original, because uh, well, it could be original, but you, you cannot create new things. You try to de describe and understand and work with the reality. creative, you cannot go and do exactly the same that somebody else has done. So it's a good combination. I, uh, the, the, if you really want to be creative, maybe you should not concentrate all your effort in economics, because economics is not a creative, uh, it's not a science, but it's not a creative uh, occupation. You have to understand what's going on. The more you understand, the better. <laughs> born two weeks, two weeks exactly after the declaration of the State of Israel. The State of Israel was uh, declared 15 of May 48, and I was born the 11 June, so three weeks after. My grandfather being uh, from uh, this uh, Russian culture or tradition in the Ukraine, um, saw that the, the ladies, um, the, he, he had four daughters, that the daughters all have to know to play music. So he um, he uh, sent the children to, to uh, private lessons. In, um, the older one in piano. I mean, my mother uh, played played the violin. The violin. So there was some music there in the background because my grandfather really liked music, uh, cl uh, classical music. Always was listening. And, and, and uh, but none of the daughters were big, uh, great. Uh, my mother could play the violin, but not very, very great. I always liked to, to listen with my grandfather on, uh, or records. And uh, he bought records of classic music I did buy. Uh, I remember uh, having a collection. Uh, so I like it, but I couldn't do anything about it. Recently, about 30 years ago, I discovered with my grandchildren that I can compose some music. And so I did compose some music and it, it was kind of successful, people liked it. Instinctively, because I have produced something like said, 70 songs, but uh, some are copied, but some, the majority is 50 or so are, prop, uh, are mine. And I put a lot of accent on Latin America and, and Caribbean and uh, kind of tropical music, but also more classic. I don't 
don't, I don't play the instruments or I write uh, to hear them, but not much, much of anything. But I also don't write uh, the, 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 the notes. And, uh, so I basically have to sing it to, to a singer or to a, um, a professional mixer. They get the idea and they, they, they come up with the instrumentation. Then I select the instrument, I do all the arrangement myself, but, but the translation is... Uh, but it didn't happen to me that I, I wanted to have some type of music and something else came up. Always uh, come up more or less what I wanted. It came, came to this way that I now I see a psalm or a, a piece of well-known prey. And I, before I, I think about it, just, just looking at it, I, um, this, this is not going to fit with anything. So, uh, or this is perfect for, for, for music. And uh, I got this feeling, yes. And I don't know how. Uh, but I, I, it came up with the melody. Now, the, the professionals in, in, in this uh, field, uh, the mixer, and uh, they, um, they do some good job because they, they take maybe the music and they adapt it well. It's a good uh, hobby, and um, but there is, there, is, there is quite interesting. And now I have some very good cantors, very very good cantors. I mean, first class okay, that, that, that have asked me to permission to use one or two of these pieces. So that's uh, good. Uh, I was really uh, very curious to know how it came up. When it came up, I didn't believe that that, that music that, that, that this is different. It's not different. It's the same, but uh, with the right uh, instrument and the right song singer. So I had this first round with, um, with music of different sort, and I distributed to people to forget the idea. But then it was uh, more interest, so I uh, put, created more. And uh, yes, I got used, but it was very interesting for me, very, very interesting to hear the first time that the music came up well. And then I got to p people asking for permission to, to use it, uh, so I was there. <laughs> And then uh, one of the pieces won some prize in a competition. So uh, I, I noticed that it's not, uh, it's not professional, but it's, it's, it's not bad. <laughs> so and people like it. to welcome all the people that came and thank you for coming to join us this evening. This evening is very special for us because this is an evening where uh, my fa we are presenting my father's music. My father is a world-known economist and in the last few years he's also become a musician trying to put music to words of the Jewish prayer uh, together with the family, always in family events we get together and sing his music and that he composes together with us, or composes and we sing together with him. <laughs>
youngest daughter, uh, Dina, proved to be a very good singer. Actually, she was selected in her school to represent the whole school, 300 children, and sing at the graduation. She, she sings pretty nicely, and uh, uh, I hope that she will continue now uh, to work working on this. Maybe she, she will want to sing one day some of my songs. I'm very proud of, of, of really of my family. I, uh, yes, I mean, I, somebody, some, some people say it joking, but I take it seriously. I say, how come you have this beautiful children? <laughs> so, how come? Uh, but uh, the children are very, all the four children I have, they, got, they are really quite exceptional in my view, and uh, very devoted to what they do. So I'm pretty proud of, of them, yes. I try to help them if I can. When I go to Miami, where my son is, uh, is there, he's a rabbi there, he has um, his own yeshiva. And um, people always ask me if I, if I, when I hear my name, I always ask him if I related to Rabbi Blair. That's made me very proud. <laughs>
lately, like a year ago, I started uh, composing for myself. For myself, see that I want to, to hear. So I take some pieces, I put some music, but I don't, don't give it to anybody. So <laughs> that's kind of strange, but I, I, that, uh, there are a couple of pieces that I say uh, one day I'll have to improve it. The truth is that uh, I'm not under any pressure to do anything, I just do whatever I, I want. But uh, I, I have some sort of a catalog of 70 pieces. And then there the are different subjects, so uh, uh, people had asked me to have put together all the Shabbat songs, to put together marches. One thing I decided to specialize uh, is composing uh, marches, uh, military uh, sort of music. Uh, for the for the prayer <laughs>
don't satisfy, probably I, I see that yes and think that no, but uh, uh, you have to learn from your own experience not to make the mistake again, to minimize the mistake, not because it's important. It's important for you, for, for your behavior, I guess. But I, um, I don't know, I don't waste much time thinking what, uh, what, to, what uh, how the world would be different for me if I would have done this and that. Maybe it should, but I don't, I try to avoid this because since I cannot do that, so I can't go back. And I don't think that I, I can uh, claim that <coughs> I've done anything important in music. No, I don't do anything important. Maybe in anything, but uh, certainly not in, but it's a hobby. It's a, it's a way of uh, expressing yourself that you cannot express yourself in, the, in, the, in your profession. coming and grace us uh, with your presence here. It is really a very special occasion uh, because we, um, we bring together so many uh, old friends, new friends, um, uh, people from Hungary, our musicians, Mario with the economists, but now, you know, wandering into this wonderful world of, of music. Um, we are really uh, honored to have the ambassador. Thank you very much. And uh, now I'm going to ask my, my husband to say a, a few words and then we enjoy some more, more music and, and good food. And well, good evening everybody. Really, I want to repeat uh, what uh, Piroska said. Uh, thank you to all of you for, for being here, for, for, for helping. Uh, this 
this project we would, uh, we would not have happened without the help. And uh, I'm really, really very grateful to all of you, in particular the orchestra that uh, <laughs> had a lot of patience because uh, the, 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 the way I, I uh, the way I, I conceive the music is one thing, maybe it's common, but the way I, I pass it to the, the <laughs> those I have to interpret, I'm sure that it's not, 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 not very, not very <laughs> common, not very usual. Yes, sir. 